Assalamu alaikum dear student, how are you all? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIEDS Home School. I am Nasima Akhtar, Assistant Teacher of Science, National Ideal English Version School, Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a general science class for class 2 student. Dear student, our today's topic is our clothes and this is your science book when you watching this video please open your book our today's topic is our class this is page number 65 dear student we wear different kinds of clothes these clothes are different color shapes and size and we wear our clothes according to our season according to our weather so let's just start today's class this is class number four and uh, beginning of this chapter here is a question what are clothes clothes are the things that people wear to cover their bodies such as shirts, pants, dresses and coats etc. We can see this picture here is a girl she wear a beautiful red dress and then here is another question why do we need clothes? Clothes protect us from heat, cold and rain they also protect us from insect bites it also makes human beings look smarter and beautiful our another question is here what are clothes made of clothes are made from different fiber there are two types of fiber you can see there are two types of fiber one number is natural fiber and another one is man-made fiber. Natural fibers are cotton, silk and wool. You can see this picture here is a cotton plant. We get cotton from cotton plant and we get silk from silk worm. You can see here is a silk worm and we get wool from sheep that means these kinds of these kinds of fiber are natural fiber man made fiber are nylon rayon and polyester these fiber are stronger than natural fiber you can see this picture this is nylon fiber this is rayon fiber and this is polyester fiber here is a, to a topic Clothes for different season. We need different clothes in different seasons. Clothes are made of materials that suit the weather of a place. We wear clothes according to different seasons. We wear cotton clothes in summer, woolen clothes in winter and we use raincoats, umbrellas and gumboots in monsoon. You can see this picture, we can understand, understand to see that the, uh, the boy wear light clothes, that means this is summer clothes and he is wear a uh, sweater and woolen cap, then we can understand this is winter season and this boy wear raincoat, raincoat. so we can understand this is rainy season. People living in hot Place, places where cotton cloths because cotton cloths are light and let the air in and they also absorb sweat that means this type of these types of wear in air uh, can easily uh, through come and out easily through these types of cloths people living in Bangladesh wear cotton cloths as it is comfortable during the hot summer months. People living in cold 
places were cloths made of wool, fur and leather because these cloths keep them warm. Now care of cloths. How can we care of our cloths? Taking care of your cloths will make you look better and help them last longer. Cloths should be washed well with a good soap or detergent to remove all sweat, dirt and stains. Wash the cloths with lots of water until all soap is removed. Wash colored, colored and white cloths separately. Dry the cloths well. Remember colored cloths should never be dried under direct sunlight. Woolen and silk cloths need a lot of care. They are easily they are easily attacked by small insects like moth and silver fish. This is one kind of insect. Woolen coats and trousers should be dry dry clean as it will be spoiled by plain washing. We should store silk and woolen cloths with moth ball. This is one kind of ball. Uh, this is one kind of medicine to protect our cloths from um, insects or dried neem leaves. These will keep the insects away. Now dear student we will do some exercise our first exercise is write true or false. If the statement is true, then we will write true. And if the statement is false, then we will write there false. Number one is woolen coats. Woolen coats and trousers should not be dry clean. This statement is false. Woolen coats and trousers should be dry clean. So we will write here false. Two number is we should wash colored and white clothes separately. Yes, this statement is true. Then we will write here true. Three number we should wear light colored clothes at night. This statement is also true. Then we will write here true. Now B number exercise is tick the correct answer. One number is cloth should be washed with one number option shampoo, water, detergent. The answer will be detergent. Then we will put tick here. Two number a man made fiber is one number option silk, cotton, nylon. The answer is nylon because we know cotton and silk is natural. Three number is a natural fiber is one number option is wool, then two number rayon and then polyester. We know wool is natural fiber. Then we will put it here. Our next exercise is fill in the blanks. One number fill in the blanks is silk and woolen cloths should be stored with dry dash leaves. What kind of leaves? Dry neem leaves. So we will write here neem. The answer will be neem. So, silk and woolen cloth should be stored with dried neem leaves. Our second one is colored cloth should never be dried under direct sunlight. Answer will be direct sunlight. direct sunlight. Our next filling the blank is people living in hot places wear dash cloths, wear cotton cloths. Phone number is we wear cloths according to different dash, different seasons.
Next is one word question. One word question, one number is where does wool come from? Answer will be sheep. Two number, what are clocks made of? The one word answer is fiber. Our three number point is question, three number one word question is what are the clocks of people living in cold place made of? Answer will be wool. Now question answer, answer the following question. One number question is why do we need clocks? Answer will be we need clocks for protect us from heat, cold and rain. Clothes also protect us from insect bites. It also makes human beings look smarter and beautiful. Our next question is how many types of fiber are there? Give two examples of each type. Answer will be there are two types of fiber. One number is natural fiber. Example is cotton and silk. Two number is man-made fiber, example is nylon and polyester. Dear student, you should, you have to do some SW. Your SW will be one word question answer, one word answer and question answer that means this one word question answer here is three question answer and you will write only the answer no need to pick up the question only write the answers and this one number question answer so dear student, I hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practice at home and do your assigned SW in your SW copy and submit your SW in, on every Sunday in our school. So I hope you will do your SW properly and submit this properly. Stay safe, stay well, thank you.